Hello and welcome to uh, my unboxing of this the new 3DS uh, XL or LL in Japan uh, the Monster Hunter 4 version it is uh, October 11th and it has just been released today the, all the regular 3DS XLs were sold out they just had this one and then the, the, the small versions of the new 3DS uh, left so I was really happy that they had the one that I wanted and the first I will do with my unboxing is to show you this. I got it together when I bought it from my local electronics store. Cute, you put it in the headphone jack. Okay, let's get right into the unboxing. Here we have the front of the box, and see. Up. Up. The back side, okay, you can see here. Uh, yeah, everything sounds <laughs> Japanese. Uh, maybe you can read something. Okay, yeah, right. There's no AC adapter. It says there. Okay, here we have. It says we have uh, the touch pen. Oh yeah, of course. There's the main DS in it, the touch pen, and there's a micro SD HC memory card, four gigabytes, with AR cards, six of them. Uh, there's a EC start guide, and then there's um, like. It get uh, warranty, and then there is the Monster Hunter 4G game, and it's that's what it says. On the side, nothing really interesting. Sides, side. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, so I'll see. We'll open it up from here. This little flap. Okay, so here you can see the game. Yeah, the game. Uh, cardboard. Here's the uh, AR cards, uh, quick start manual, and warranty stuff. And here comes, as some people say, the star of the show. Okay, here we have it the new 3DS. Uh, Monster Hunter 4G version. It's very light, it's much lighter than the uh, original. Uh, okay, let's open it up the first time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh the... The little mechanics there feels really sturdy actually. Uh, you see the new button layout. Uh, there, nice colors. Start home and if we, yeah, right, see the back side here. There's the double uh, buttons. And uh, when I hold it, and it feels uh, with the shoulder buttons, it feels actually pretty comfortable to play. And the knob here, it doesn't move because there's right, there's no space. It's like, yeah, it's just a little knob that you switch, but um. I'll, I'll have to see how it is to play with it. It, it. it could work. It feels like it could work. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, and then the we have the touch pen here. Uh, it feel, it's a little bit... It's another design than uh, for the original uh, 3DS XL. So uh, you can't use your old one for that. Right, and then we have the... Oh, I'll just close this. We have the slots to put in games, the headphones, and here is the on the power button. Uh, yeah, and there's the LEDs for this power, uh, if it's the DS is on, if it's charging, and for the Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi button is gone. There's no Wi-Fi button. I guess, I guess the Wi-Fi is on all the time. Okay, so I've started the DS and done the initial setup. It was nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, so here we have a little bit new uh, home screen. Well, as you can see, we have the Ugoku Memo in Japanese. What is it? Evernote uh, pre-installed. And also, if we take, if we go here, do the settings. So we have uh, a whole screen of different settings. Here's where you turn on and off the Wi-Fi and the NFC. And here's like a home menu. Uh, manual 
and here's here is the real uh, settings for the whole 3ds uh, here you can turn on and off energy saving mode and um, automatic brightness and here you can in, uh, insert uh, and just brightness manually and here's where you can change the theme uh, okay so I'll just take something here red and now I have a red theme that's pretty cool oh and here we have something what's this uh, so it's like 3d videos uh, one thing that I noticed is that the sliders are a lot harder uh, to uh, to adjust uh, they take just a li that little, little bit more strength than you needed to before. Uh, but that's all good. Uh, oh yeah, and the volume slider is now on the screen side of the DS. And the, um, the mode about the 3D following your eyes, it really, really works and it works really well. Um, I have a really hard time to get out of the sweet spot uh, to see the 3D, so it re it's really, really good. I really like it. Uh, but one thing that I'm a little bit uh, worried about is that the edges here, the edges here on the DS are a little bit sharp. I don't know if you can see, but there's the the th this one you ha you can and you probably have to remove sometimes if you want to ch change the SD card. But it doesn't really it doesn't really. Uh, it seems like it doesn't fit well. It's a little bit sharp here. I, I hope that won't be a problem. Okay, so I've been playing uh, on something now for like 20 seconds, <laughs> and um, I've been trying out the uh, the little knob, and I have to say it work. It works pretty well. It it is gonna take some time to get used to, but I I, I really see this working. I think it's gonna work just fine as soon as I get used to it. <laughs> and that was the unboxing of uh, the awesome new console. Uh, I will have a lot of fun with it, I almost guarantee. <laughs> uh, I hope you found it interesting to see what happened with what's happening in Japan. And. Uh, that you will be patient until it arrives in Europe and America or wherever you are. Okay, I will see you some other day. Bye.